you, we you're... accepted that we always said we were conservatives, hmm? and I like that. Small C conservative, conservative yeah. and you certainly look at look at the way you dress. I mean, you you couldn't be trying to evoke a more sort of you know normal normal appearance conservative yes. image yes. with the way you look. And yet, yes. as we've discussed already in this conversation, the subject matter is is often deeply sexual. It's covering all of the taboos that we've discussed. Your sort of conservatives who then play. But and have uh, almost a joke at the expense. Oh, no, no play, no play, but, no, no jokes. But uh, dressed up like that, it's more powerful. You can get away with anything. With a decent that, is that why powerful. you do it? This is your camouflage. No, you, you, can, you, can get, you can get a, a table in any restaurant in the world and we're hardly ever searched at airports. It's very good, very good. But we had started out in 1968 mm. because we were going to different galleries to sell ourselves, no? So we put on this suit at that time, and then we call it the, what do you call, what do you, the responsibility. Touch? The responsibility suits of our art. And that's uh, the vision in 1969. I'm just wondering in the end, whether there is an element of play to no. what you do. Whether if, we should take you seriously no, or not. No, if, 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 if you want to be simple about that, it's, it's even more simple. As lower class people, we were brought up that on important occasions you dress properly and nicely. If you go to a wedding or a funeral or a christening, or if you apply for a job, or if you go for an interview, put on a suit and tie it, do your hair nicely, for important occasions. Yeah? And we believe that every single day of our life is important. And you call important. yourself a lower class person. Of would, it, would it be fair to say that you have right. had a running battle with the art elite the art establishment because you think they don't give you the respect that you deserve i mean they, they frankly people like brian sewell and valdemar janicek have 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 well, dismissed your work with contempt as yeah. having no artistic we've value. had a lot of help from our enemies that's true but but i am interested in where this feeling of yours comes from that you're outsiders and that you're against you know that the whole of the art world is against you because we never, we did, we never so said that we have enormous support from the art world good heavens we're fated wherever we go. You didn't know that. It, here's, a quote, here's a quote from you. In the art world, uh, we once said we were Thatcherites. It was the worst thing we could say. It was like saying that you're a Nazi pedophile or something. Yes, exactly. They will never forgive us for that, you yes. said. The art world is full of left-wingers who want to be millionaires. Hmm. Yes, true. That's still true as well. They all became millionaires. If you, say you're conservative, if you say you're conservative to the taxi driver or the waiter, it's just a, an opinion. It's only in the art world they throw up their arms in amazement. It's quite silly. It is but interesting. After, after all, we, we, I mean, we were working class people starting out with nothing. It was an extraordinary journey that we did. And even that we may, managed to make an art that's completely different than any other art. And we, it's our vision. We created a new way of making pictures for ourselves. And we created what we called the journey. That is life, the confronted life, like conservative or left wing or right wing, or sexuality or religion, religion that we hate in some big way. We are trying to, then we call it the moral, what do you call it? Moral dimension. The moral dimension that mm. we create for ourselves, how to behave as human beings. Moral dimension. That's quite interesting.